Today, 155 years after Small stunned the nation by seizing a Confederate steamer from Charleston Harbor, he is still relatively unknown. As the country begins to fully honor the stories and contributions of African Americans, Smalls deserves to be celebrated not just as a Civil War hero, but as an American hero. It would be an honor to Robert Smalls and the American people, I believe, to have a statue of him in his home state. However, one of the things that I have always felt was missing from the grounds of South Carolina is a total picture of the history of this great state. There were no monuments or statues to Reconstruction era politicians. And I am a big fan of Reconstruction era politicians. My uncle was a historian, and uh, he, from a child, taught us the importance of history and respecting all history. One of the things that I have always believed is that monuments are there to tell a story. Some stories we're proud of, some we are not. And so I have never been a big fan in tearing down monuments. I've been a bigger fan in telling the whole story of what those monuments represent, and even a bigger fan in making the ground more inclusive. So I think that today, instead of thinking of toppling existing monuments, let's learn from them the faults and attributes of those people, but let's also erect additional monuments that further complete the story of our past, like one to Robert Small, so that we can both honor him and expand our knowledge of our past and those who shaped it. We heard stories, the one that comes to mind is one, um, again, with his reward money, one of the major things that he did was purchase the house of his former owner, the big house, where he had been enslaved. And after the war, his uh, former master had passed. His former master's wife, Jane Bold McKee, came back to the house. She was mentally and physically ill. She saw Robert and thought that she was still the lady of the house. And Robert embraced her, brought her in. And even though she would not eat at the table with him, he cared for her and even allowed her to live in the master bedroom for the remaining days of her life. And that story strikes me, particularly now, we, we happen to be in a political climate that's very partisan and where people uh, are often at each other's throats. And to think about Robert in the way that he acknowledged the humanity of, uh, of this woman um, and embraced her in the way that he did, I think that's something that we can all uh, learn from.